Station, 1225 I Street Northwest, Suite 950 in Washington, D.C. The zip code is 20005. Thursday, Holly Idelson from Congressional Quarterly will be the guest on a morning call-in. She'll be in our Washington studios to discuss the president's crime initiatives. Phone in with your questions Thursday morning on C-SPAN, beginning at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific Time. You're looking at pictures taken Tuesday night as Attorney General Janet Reno and California Senators Dianne Feinstein and Barbara Boxer toured the U.S.-Mexican border near San Ysidro, California. Immigration and Border Patrol agents conducted the tour. The officials were shown equipment used by U.S. border guards to observe illegal immigration. They were also shown a variety of fake IDs sometimes used by illegal immigrants and drug smugglers. Following the two-hour tour of the border area, the Attorney General was joined by California's two senators for a news conference. Coming up in a few minutes, their comments to reporters. But first, we continue with scenes from their nighttime tour with Border Patrol officials. That's 20 aliens an hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a massive transportation, massive... Uh, let me stop you. 200,000 arrests within five, five miles of border. Five miles of border. That's one-third of the entire sector's apprehensions, which are a little over uh, half a million. That's a sharp point up there. It is. Everybody, bigger, bigger. Ninety-five percent of the arrests on the American border are made in this strip of border between Tijuana and uh, California, specifically San Diego. Ninety-five percent. And that's why this is the hottest spot in America in terms of illegal border crossings. And so if I might, uh, Attorney General, Senator, if you'd like to say something. Go ahead, then. Attorney General, I'll follow you. I'm here tonight to find out as much as I can about personnel needs, about equipment needs, and what can be done to effect, uh, really effectively address the problems of illegal immigration, not just here, but on all the borders of the United States, so that we can take effective action to upgrade the Immigration and Naturalization Service, to make it as efficient as possible, and to address the problems that the senator has referred to. General Reno, you're not if I just, if I just may, let, let if Senator I just might, say something, and then we'll open it. If I just may uh, briefly state that uh, I'm very pleased to be here with my colleague Senator Feinstein and with the Attorney General. I think you see before you three women who are very determined to solve a problem, and tonight we saw the problem firsthand. Uh, we saw the shortage of Border Patrol agents. We know we need to do more. <laughs> Uh, Senator Feinstein and I have put forth some ideas on how to do that. Uh, we're going to pursue them. I think that having the Attorney General here is a real plus for us. She has seen the problem firsthand, and I look forward to working with her and my colleague uh, to resolve this and to slow this illegal immigration to a trickle. I think it can be done. Senator, this has been a problem for at least 40 years that I know of. Why is immigration suddenly the buzzword among Democrats, Republicans, libertarians, socialists, anarchists, everybody 
suddenly immigration is a hot issue? Why? Why now? If you'd like me to respond, I'd, I'd be happy to. I think probably in the early part of the century, there were higher numbers. Since that time, I think the numbers have escalated tremendously. Um, you see a lot of illegal smuggling. I'm told by the State Department that they're anywhere from 40 to 75 ships, either in the construction or on the high seas, bringing people illegally into this country. I think what you see, and you see it in Europe, you see it in Asia, and you're seeing it in this country, is a phenomenon of people who are moving, who are looking for opportunity. So it's worldwide. When you come to these two borders, you have to remember a couple of things. In Mexico, there is no welfare, there is no AFDC, there is no SSI, there is no Medicaid, there is no Social Security, there is no Medicare, and there's a 58 cent an hour minimum wage. Mexico does nothing to enforce its border. It is my view that if we are going to have a North American free trade agreement, that Mexico must do its share because the day when America could be the welfare system for Mexico is gone. We simply can't afford it. And I think you've seen the figures to state and local governments of what the cost is. It's over $2 billion in California alone. And I have those figures if you want them in specific uh, in my purse. Uh, and that's why the issue is now joined with 2 million illegal immigrants. It's, it's a competition for space, whether the space is a job, the space is a home, a place in a classroom, it becomes a competition for space. This is a country that's based on immigration, and we all know that, and yet at times you become so overtaxed, you have to concentrate on saying the people who should be here are those who come legally at this time, and we've got to, for the time being, enforce our borders. Attorney General, Attorney General, Attorney General, Attorney General, Attorney General, back to the president. What were you telling about what you saw tonight? Are you talking to me? Yes, yes ma'am. I'll describe what I saw. What, well, you wait, wait, what are your impressions? You're not unfamiliar with illegal immigration from Florida. No, I've, I've never been here before. This what is, is what a different. Are your impressions, comparatively speaking? This is a different situation that existed in Florida, and that's why I'm here. Florida is basically, as you know, a water border. This is a different border. I will be visiting Arizona. I'm told the border situation there is different, and I will make appropriate recommendations. After your tour today, that surprised or shocked you that you saw tonight? What, what did you think about what you saw? As I, as I have said, I think immigration will be one of the most significant problems that I face as Attorney General, and I think it's important that I talk with people who are directly on the scene and make the best advice, recommendations I can based on the information that we have available as to what can reasonably be done and advise the American people, advise the President after I've completed that review. Can you give us an idea about what kind of recommendations you'll talk to him about? We'll talk to him about what is needed. Excuse me? I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Could you be more specific about the kind of recommendations? No, I've not completed oh, my review. All, with all due respect, Ms. Reno, a lot of Southern Californians with whom we've spoken are, are wondering how serious the Clinton administration is about this situation. For example, Governor Wilson last week made some very tough proposals about what he felt was necessary for this state to stop this flow. And before your visit uh, even took place, President Clinton in San Francisco was rejecting these proposals like out of hand. I'd like to respond well, to that. Get... Well, I, I would like to respond to that because I, let me just say this in all due respect. This administration is the first administration that has come up with many points on how to resolve this, including expedited asylum procedures, increasing the Border Patrol by 600 agents nationally. This is the first time we've had that kind of attention, increasing penalties for smugglers, etc. So the Clinton administration has started off. And I would like to say in regard to the governor, and I think this is very important, when Governor Wilson was in the United States Senate. He's the one who kept calling for cheap labor into the country. He's the one who fought for bringing in uh, Mexican day workers, and that started the whole jobs magnet. And so it seems to me that now he is attacking, in many ways in his proposal, 
uh, little children, you know, in schools. He's certainly uh, turning his attention to people who are ill, but he isn't even mentioning cracking down on some of the employers who are very unethical. So the bottom line is President Clinton has come out with a plan. Governor Wilson, when he was a senator, and it was just in the press recently, is responsible for over a million people who came here and after 90 days got their legal residency, is now pointing the finger back at this administration. It's very strange to let, me. Let me, let me. let me just say something on that. Can, yes, I will be happy to address it. I'm not pointing my finger at anybody. I'm trying to make the best judgment I can. We have made proposals. We're going to make additional proposals. This is one of the most difficult issues facing America, and I want to make the best judgment I can after being fully informed on all the facts. Is that a trip I'm you? sorry, I can't hear. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear all you all at the same time. But they feel unless they do something drastic like that, the motivation is going to be there for these people to try to get into our country. Well, one of the things that's important that we hear from all the people involved, I have not finished. I'm told that I'm, I'm supposed to hear more uh, after I finish talking with you. Some have said that we need additional people on the border. Others have said that we need additional equipment. Others have said that there are other remedies. What I want to do is see firsthand and make the best judgment without pointing fingers at anybody as to what can reasonably be done to address this issue. We're running out of time. Two final questions. A broad base. Uh, a broad base. I mean, some people have said you can't hire just 600 officers and not allow them to have the equipment and the training they need. I mean, would you foresee if it's not as many officers, but that they have the training and they have the equipment balanced? One of the things that I was concerned about when I took office was to find that there were vehicles here that were sorely needed that didn't have the appropriate equipment, and I took action to make sure that they had that equipment. That's what I'm trying to do in visiting here to see what specifics can be done now to make the present personnel as effective as possible in addressing the issue. What, can be need, what is needed in, in terms of additional training or additional equipment that can make them more effective and then what is reasonably possible in terms of having an impact here on the border that will not just translate it down the line to the next area or to the next area, but that can have a reasonable impact. Attorney General, uh, 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 one more question. A lot of people uh, from uh, human rights uh, movements have said that your proposals plus uh, Governor uh, Wilson's proposals will create a hate wave against foreigners in this country. Excuse me? Yeah, a lot of uh, human rights groups have said that uh, Senator Feinstein's proposals plus uh, Governor Wilson's proposals will create a uh, uh, hate wave against foreigners in this country. Well, I, I differ with that. Um, I have never heard that said. My proposals have been very simple. They've been enforce our border. They have been speed up the asylum process. They have been cracked down on illegal smuggling. They have been removed the option that is given to a, a, an illegal alien convicted of a felony, has an option of serving time in this country or in their own country. I say return them to their own country, wherever that country may be, to serve the time. So my proposals have been all along those lines, and I think uh, most people have regarded them as moderate. Let me say something about immigration that was said to me. This is the first time that I know of in the history of this country that you have had two United States senators from a state impacted by immigration that have been willing to get into the issue. We're getting into the issue with a view that everybody's going to have a number of different proposals. The Attorney General is going to choose some and not choose others, and that's fine. But that there should be a reasonable debate and discussion on what we can do, not to do so, I think is to risk an enormous backlash against all immigrants, and that would be most unfortunate. There is a problem. We've got to meet that problem with prudent, wise, and moderate solutions, and I think we can. So thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. We'll go this way. Attorney General. Okay. Oh. You've been watching a news conference by Attorney General Janet Reno 
following an overnight tour of the U.S.-Mexican border near San Ysidro, California. This Sunday on Book Notes, Civil War historian Harold Holzer will be the guest. He'll discuss his recent book, The Lincoln-Douglas Debates. The work chronicles a series of political debates between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas. Sunday on